This is my sinus uh, showing uh, aspergillus and dental debris. And the reason I'm talking is I would like to see warning labels put on root canal therapy. And uh, just like drugs with a list of potential life-threatening illnesses, root canal therapy should also have those warning labels. If you have a root canal, have someone check regularly with a flashlight for any open sores around root canal areas, as you cannot count on your doctor saying anything about it. And pay attention to your body and gums around root canal area. Don't count on your dentist coming into the hospital as you lay with an abscess root canal tooth as my husband's dentist would not come in and they tested him for typhoid fever. He came home with the abscess root canal tooth and when it was removed I could hear the sawing taking place as I said in the waiting room. Much destruction of the bone and grafting was needed to reconstruct the area. When you start feeling unwell, nauseated, and sick after root canal therapy, be suspicious about the procedure and don't fall for gallbladder surgery like I did. Beware of the bite guard remedy hygienist will use as a solution for pain around the bleeding root canal area. Good luck getting a PA x-ray and having the root canal tooth removed. The PA x-ray will show dental files really clearly. Um, good luck finding a good oral surgeon to clean the area after removal of root canal teeth, including scraping the dead, infected bone area. Good luck trying to get any lab results pertaining to the bacteria and fungus at the site of the abscessed area. Don't believe the 5% failure rate on root canals. I had two root canals one day apart. They both abscessed. This is my x-ray showing aspergillus fumigitis in the maxillary sinus due to puncture wounds from dental instruments and the worst overfill the nurse had ever seen of gutta percha that contains zinc, a fertilizer, so to speak, for aspergillus. The foreign bodies remained in my body for three years before the two abscessed root canal teeth were removed. After nine attempts, I was finally able to get the first abscess root canal tooth pulled by an oral surgeon with no antibiotics and the site was not cleaned. I became extremely ill and asked the oral surgeon for help. He said, go to my medical doctor because my sickness was unrelated to the abscess tooth being removed. I became extremely ill with chest pains and went to the emergency room and remained in the hospital three days. Later, I had the site reopened and properly cleaned, by, cleaned up, including bone debridement. After my sinus surgery, uh, stating that I had aspergillus fumigitis in my sinus, my MD said that my sinus was like a burn victim that has been scarred. The scarred area will never function right again, she said. I have scarring on the lungs also, a peckle scarring that affects my breathing. I had a draining fistula that was draining from the root canal tooth down my throat. The poison draining from the root canal tooth, it can damage the heart and the organs. Aspergillus can start in the sinus or bone from root canal teeth and can spread throughout the body affecting the throat, eyes, brain, blood, intestines and more. It can metastasize, be deadly, go into remission, be invasive, non-invasive, it can bleed. Aspergillus has the same characteristics as cancer. I have been unable to find any difference between the two. I was treated with voriconazole for invasive aspergillus and the same drug is used for cancer patients. Coincidence? I don't think so.